Hello everybody, it's me, Nicholas Lionrider, and it is finally the day. We officially have the Southeast Asia Animal Pack, that's a mouthful, uh, out for everyone. And I am joined today with Rabid, um, who is... So, hello guys. She's kind of a returning, uh, you seem to be around for my DLC, uh, overviews. Not really in between, like, you're not really <laughs> a prevalent co-host, but, like, you're definitely always around for the DLCs. Uh, so you're kind of like my, my go-to DLC co-host. So uh, I thought we would start out today by basically doing a thing that everyone else is doing, um, <laughs> but doing it slightly different. <laughs> so I am doing a habitat time lapse. Wow, I know, it's crazy, right? Um, and so I'm sure you're going to see a lot of people that are going to be covering, you know, oh, I did a Binturong, I did a Sun Bear, I did a Babarusa, etc. And so um, I kind of did the same thing, I'm not going to lie but I tried to go a little bit uh, more unique. So obviously my channel is uh, very popular with modding. So I thought, well, to stand out from the crowd, I should probably, you know, kind of dip my toe in by doing something a little bit more unique. And so I decided to do a modded habitat alongside the new DLC. So I'm doing a solo Wacy themed habitat. So um, the solo Wacy region is uh, in Southeast Asia, it's kind of uh, very prominent because of their Babarusas, which are in the pack. And um, the Babarusas are basically the only animal from the actual Southeast Asia pack from Solo AC. So I was like, what's another great animal addition? The Solo AC Crested Macaque, which is kind of just, uh, it, it's that iconic monkey that like t took the selfie and smiles. It's that one. <laughs> um, and so I wanted to uh, just quickly, you know, create like a, a rather simple mod, but just kind of have it work um, alongside the Barbarossa. So it does uh, kind of have a the enrichment of both. So you get all the needs of a Barbarossa mixed with all the needs of the macaques. Um, but that's, I mean, that's essentially what I'm doing for the habitat, just so that you guys have some context. But I wanted to spend this video kind of talking with Rabbit about the actual pack. So, what do you think of the pack? Because I am curious, like, are you more or less interested in it because there are no pieces? Like, no scenery? I actually, I... I'm not big on building. I am more, like, animal-centered around it, so I... I do like this pack a lot more than the other ones. Uh, it's probably a bit controversial. Whoops. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am because um, I am surprised by that. Because yeah, most people do say the opposite. Usually, they're like, "Oh yeah, this is this is the worst pack. We needed our scenery, and we didn't get any of it." But yeah, you actually like the animals because that's. I mean, that that's an interesting take though, because like I haven't heard too many people on that board. But it, it's also because I'm in a lot of circles where a lot of people are builders, but. Um, yeah, I mean, because I do like all the animals in the pack. Um, I think the new Binturong looks great. I, I checked that out today. Um, I'm a bit disappointed in the Malayan Tapir. I don't know if you saw that, but the... Yeah, me too. I don't. The Malayan Tapir is a little bit of a letdown. Um, it's actually... I ran some tests. It's actually smaller than the Beard's Tapir. I can actually definitively say uh -oh. that now. Um, I took two male, uh, I took two males, uh, at 67% size each, and the, um, Malayan Tapir was about, in, maybe centimeters, like, 10 centimeters shorter at the shoulder, which is not correct, like, that's not right at all. Um, so, the Malayan Tapir is a little bit of a letdown. I don't think it looks bad or anything, it's just, it just is literally the beard's tape here, but black and white, so nothing super crazy. Um, and I wow, don't even- Wow, your modding tutorial really helps. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think so. like, yeah, there, like, someone was, like, posted that meme and stuff, like, oh, they used your tutorial and stuff. <laughs> I know, sorry. <laughs> uh, no, but it, like, literally, it's, I, I feel comfortable even saying it. Now, I should also mention- Frontier was gracious enough to send me a code, so I do want to thank them. They did send me a code for that, but I'm also going to say Oh no, that, I've, ruined your I've ruined your re re relationship with them. Yeah, no, I, 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 I still, I, I still feel comfortable you. saying that, that, like, I'm sorry, the Malayan Taper does seem just wrong. 
Like it's they did a great job with the bench run. I, I will I will praise them for that because I'm also going to be doing a bench yeah, run comparison same. video tomorrow. So uh, anyone who wants to check that out, I will be. Uh, comparing the old Benturong model, the actual model, I have the files of the old one, and uh, mm -hmm. some footage of what the old one looked like, and I can compare it to the new one so that we can compare and contrast them. Uh, Best in Slot kind of did a video like that, but like I also like I have the actual models, so we'll do a deep dive into like what they physically changed about the 3D models and stuff. So that'll be a fun video. Um, but yeah, like that looks so great that like yeah, it's kind of like the Malayan Tafer was just a little bit of a letdown. But, you know, it, at the end of the day, it, I wasn't expecting much. A Malayan Tapir is just a beard Tapir. Um, so what I should probably mention is, as you can see, I'm struggling with this roof because Solo AC, I guess the Solo AC, I guess it's an island? I, I, I don't, I think it's part of the mainland, but I could, I, I don't really know where Solo AC is, to be honest. Um, but it has a very interesting kind of hybrid, uh, hybridized like mixture between like Polynesian and um I guess Asian architecture and so they have like these kind of thatch roofs and stuff but like with the pitched roofs in the front and that was really difficult to do in Planet Zoo. So here you see me flipping it around and then at this point I'm realizing oh I still have to do the entire other side of the roof because I built it in a way that I couldn't mirror it effectively. So I had to literally just manually <laughs> yeah but you see me just like messing that up. But I literally had to like redo the whole thing. Um, what do you think of the new scenery? Because I, I know we we I said oh well we didn't get any scenery. Do you like the signs though that they did? Because they're all different art styles. Um, I don't know if you're a fan of that in particular. I mean, I mean, <laughs> again, I don't build that much. Last time I attempted something like that was um for your challenge a while ago <laughs> oh yeah i did forget about and that the challenge that never came out because it, there was no competition because no one else wanted to even do anything <laughs> i might do it's a, my a, favorite way to win we need to do a sequel i, I need i need a sequel of like actual like committed people who, who are like gonna do it for those who don't know there was a scrapped video i had a while ago that was a, a build off where i gave uh, Rabbit, as well as two other people, the same exact map with the same specifications. Basically, it's very similar to, like, what I think Simply Savannah did recently. Um, but this was a while ago, like, maybe, literally, probably seven, eight months ago now. Um, and yeah, like, yeah. no one else finished in time, so Rabbit just won by default, and so it just didn't even work out. But, um, you know, I don't know, maybe I one I mean, day... if you did it again, I would absolutely... Yeah, I would just need to make sure that, like, people actually did it. And I'd probably get more than three people yeah. to guarantee that more than one person did it. Um, but I guess, uh, so, okay, so you're an animal fan. What is your favorite animal in the pack, then? Uh-oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, um, see, sun bears in real life creep me out, but, like, in the game, they look really well done. Like, they've captured the essence of a sun bear, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I but mean, also, sun bears are weird. Um, yeah. Clouded... The clouded leopards? Oh my gosh. No, I can't. My brain can't falter at this moment. <laughs> they are the clouded leopards, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what they're called. Yeah. Yeah, they are <laughs> very... Yeah, I, I, like, because I think that's that's how I, I, I grade them all differently. Don't tell Julie. Babarusa is my favorite, though by far. I think they definitely did a phenomenal, and that's why I'm doing this habitat, because I was like, I really like the Babarusa <laughs> in the game. Um, and so, I think they did a, a really, I, I've been saying phenomenal a lot lately, but like, they did a phenomenal job um, with <laughs> the Babarusa. They look really, really good. Um, I think the animations and stuff, I, 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 some people are like, they just used the Warthog stuff. No, they actually did a custom fighting animation, uh, um, which actually looks really good, because Actual Babarusas, like, box, they don't actually, like, use their tusks. So, they made a custom animation where the Babarusas, like, box each other, which is pretty funny. Um, um and my- I actually, um, sorry for interrupting, but, like, I actually showed off the screenshots that I had, or another people have collected. I showed it off to my sister, mm -hmm. who does not play this game very much, like, at all. 
and she said that the um, Barbarossa was her favorite. So yeah, because it's I mean, just I can see I can see the appeal of it. It's just like I would detailed. You know, like, it's just, like, because it didn't have any fur yeah. or anything, they went really hardcore with the, uh, like, the detail of the skin folds and wrinkles and stuff. And that, like, that's the only thing that, like, yeah. is really impressive to me. Because, like, and I think they even mentioned it in the, um, the press release that furry animals, for the most part, usually didn't get as much attention just because they weren't, they didn't need to be as detailed. They have fur, so you don't have to worry yeah. about the skin. But, like, animals like the Babarusa that are hairless needed to be, like, really well done. And I think they did a really good job with them. So, yeah, that's just my favorite. I mean... I don't... The Clouded like Leopard that. is really... Like, that's the thing, is all the animals yeah. in the pack look really good. Including the bench yeah. right now. I was I spent like the I have like four videos on my channel like with the ongoing it saga of the Binturong, but like it looks really good <laughs> now. Um, it definitely looks like a Binturong, which is a huge, huge deal. And the um, like yeah, the proboscis monkey looks great, the clouded leopard looks great, the sun bear looks great. Like all the animals look really good. And so like I think as a as a pack, if 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 this had scenery, for me, this would easily be the best pack. And, and to some level, and I'll be kind of going over this in a video, uh, probably that will also go up later today, the blue-ass water is my favorite part of this pack, and I had to use this in in the habitat, because I love the flexi-color water. That plus billboards, which I was trying to work billboards into this build the best I could. The issue is billboards are just, you know, like, what was I going to do, really? Like, it's an outdoor habitat. I wasn't really going to do anything other than maybe signage but um the i needed to include that water and i also tried to include the uh the new um little s statue of the babarusa right there uh so that's from the new time scenario um so i was kind of right about that i figured we would get it. i assumed it was the babarusa my other theory was the sun bear but babarusa probably made more sense because we already have another bear statue um, I was also trying to go for, uh, for the little fencing of this. I, uh, I tried to go, uh, a little more exotic. I tried to use, uh, some colors that were, you know, not as popular. So I kind of did the subtle purple that they kind of did for the, um, the packs, you know, uh, a background color, I guess. I don't, it, maybe this is a little, like, little weird thing. Do you kind of feel like the um the actual Southeast Asia pack DLC poster and stuff kind of made it look like it was like a Halloween pack or something because it was like dark and purple? I don't know. I, I felt like that was like a weird thing that I noticed. It, it just seemed like weirdly like dark. Like it, it was just a dark purple. I wasn't really expecting that. Oh. Um, hang on. I'm just re-looking at it because my memory is just oh yeah bad <laughs> okay i'm looking at it now yeah it's this weird purple lighting and the fact that it's like a black bear you know it's yeah exactly bear, you know it's, a, it's the yeah. dark colors it's gloomy, yeah almost. yeah yeah it, it looked gloomy that's why i was like yeah it's kind of weird because like for the, the pack is obviously like you know a bunch of fun animals look you have the dole and the in the, the you know babarusa and stuff but yeah like it, it, it was like a really gloomy photo it looked like kind of like like i said a halloween pack type thing but um i think it's just the fact that it was purple um there, there's not too much to say the about spookiest color there's not too much to say about the actual build that's the, the thing is like without any new foliage and so i did actually place down the new enrichment items which are kind of nice we have new scratching posts uh, i don't know if you saw that um they look exactly like the scratching posts but i have the hammock it, well, it looks exactly like a normal tree. So if you there's one that's a spruce tree and one that's ta uh, the, the what if the African tree is the tamarind or whatever tree. Um, those two trees are now just optional scratching posts as well. So you can place those down and then your animals will rub up on them the same way the rubbing posts do. Um, so that's kind of nice. So I should mention, so obviously up here in the rocks, uh, this was loosely based off of Animal Kingdom's Kilimanjaro Safari mandrel enclosure for the macaque portion. Because I wanted like a tiered jungle approach to it. Of course, I wanted to add some climbing frames and stuff. So the Babarusa obviously hang out in the lower e uh, end of this habitat, so they don't really um, actually interact too, too much with the macaques, which I kind of like, I kind of like how they could interact if they wanted to, but they don't have to, they're kind of separated. 
Um, but the Babarusa hang out in the lower bit, bit, and that's where, like, all the rubbing posts are, and I added, like, some, uh, scenery and stuff for the Babarusa, and then up top is kind of where I had the macaque, the kind of climbing frames and enrichment, and there's kind of, like, an elevated sleeping area for them, so I kind of liked how I, I kind of mixed yeah. the two of them really well. Um, and I, I think they do look good together. It, again, it, the macaque was a very quick mod to do. I literally just took the Japanese macaque and gave it a afro and made it black. But <laughs> but yeah. it does it, lo it does look good. Um, and I was thinking of doing more mod because uh, I should we should talk about the elephant in the room, which is modding. I said ah, yeah. that. <laughs> I, I've gone on record saying numerous times this uh, update would not break mods. I was apparently wrong. However, I want to defend myself as well as everyone else who was saying it. We did not anticipate this. I even had some people, I don't want to say my source and stuff. I had some people and several people on the inside that had early access to the game that were testing out mods for me and the new species worked. So whatever this is that broke mods, so I mean, it's probably too late now by the time this goes up. Everyone's probably updated. But if you had any new species mods, uninstall your new species or else you might have crashes. If they're in your trade center, you might have, you might actually have irredeemable corruption to your maps. And I apologize profusely for that. No one could have anticipated this. And like I said, this is an update that had to have happened last minute. Like... Um, like, literally, I woke up, Jesse woke up at, I woke up at 6.30 in the morning to people panicking, and I was like, what the hell is going on? And, yeah, it was, it, it is bad, and so I want to apologize, because not a single modder, you know, could have expected this to happen. We have no idea what Frontier did in this last yeah. update, but new species mods, we knew replacement mods were going to probably need to be fixed, that made, you know, perfect sense. New species mods should not have been impacted at all. Luckily, Jesse is working on a fix uh, to get them up and running. I think he already got some of them working again. It seems like it's going to be similar to replacement mods, we just have to run it through Cobra again and then they'll work. But, um... Yeah, that was that was just a really unfortunate thing because I do apologize because I like I said I went on record saying they're yep you're good they won't you know crash or whatever. Um, of course, this is the you know issue of modding a game that's being updated frequently. So, but and doesn't support modding in the first place. Yeah, and doesn't support modding, but you know that's a whole other thing. But what's funny about that, <laughs> right? Technically, with the addition of billboards now, they do technically support modding. Like, billboards are a type of modding, whether people like to admit it or not. Like, that is a type of modding when- I've they're... already seen billboards of, like, Shrek. Yeah, like, that's out. what I'm saying. So, you know, it might seem like, oh, well, this is just a, a quick thing, but it technically is a type of mod. So, technically, to some level, they do support modding. They'll fold modding. sooner or later. Yeah, eventually, I feel, I feel like maybe we only have maybe a few updates left, unfortunately, but I think we will eventually see a theme maker's toolkit, maybe even an animal Do maker's I... toolkit or something. I could definitely yeah. see that. Um, but Do I we... dare say um, Jurassic World Evolution? Cough, cough. Yeah, I, I like, see. I'm anymore, still wondering so about <laughs> that. Free reign. I'm wondering about that because JW2, JWE2 is on the horizon as well as. Um, just the fact that that's Universal's game, not theirs. So that could also play into it. But I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video because we're basically wrapping up the build today. Um, you can check out the Solowasi Macaque, like I said, and the Babarusa. And past that, I want to thank you for being here, Rabbit. And I will see you guys next time. See ya.